Welcome back to the channel. I am taking us back into the footage archives that I have here and finally making a video of that, the hood accent. There's been some talks about it. Let's get it straight. Also, those mirrors, where did those mirrors come from? They just popped on one day. The shad bag, uh, hard saddlebag rack. The back spoiler, you've been seeing them on videos, but when did it happen? So I'm just kind of compiled it all in one video here for you guys. So you can check it out. Just like all videos where we're installing stuff, it is not a how-to, just going through the little experience we had. And then as a bonus at the end, we get a little light show from Oscar with his Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Riker Rally. Throw about some moto. Like I said, taking it back a ways, because you've seen these parts already on my Riker 600. So I was going through some of my footage, which I have a lot of. So if you're a subscriber to the channel, you're in luck because it's pretty much endless Riker content. I also have some more of my dirt e-bike stuff, um, videos of my electric skateboard I haven't posted yet. So I'll try to figure out ways to post those in between my Riker videos. I've also been posting on the Patreon site, uh, exclusive videos like we did um, Ryan's handlebars videos. So if you've seen those and stuff and you'll be seeing them in little future things uh, that there's a specific video I made just for that on the Patreon. Also, Kevin's Riker's dip job, which is right there. And like I said, this is taking it back. So if you follow us on the channel, you know it's been painted for a while now. And that's his old style he's got with the old panels on there. But these little these little parts, you got the, the hood accent. Uh, which I'm about to show Kevin there because I don't even think he knows we're gonna install it that day We were just talking about that rear spoiler. I already had it over there I brought over the hood accent, which was a gift from Ryan, which was a surprise I've been getting a lot of encouragement to embrace the Chiquita So this is when I made the decision I go, okay, not just the panels. We'll do the the yellow spoiler uh, and the hood accent and that's we're gonna do the mirrors also the hood accent and the, the rear spoiler are OEM, those are not. So, oh, and before we get started, Kevin's been talking about this little thing he learned to make your own Baja Blast. So he had me stop on the way to grab a, a Mountain Dew. And I think he like mixing some flavor of Gatorade and it's actually pretty chill. I was being uh, pretty critical of it and uh, I actually like it, but it does, if you've seen it on whatever it is he saw it on, it does water it down so it's not super legit, you know, like carbonated, but it was pretty good. It's actually refreshing in a way, like it might do something other than hop you up, like maybe like give you hydration, <laughs> having the Gatorade in there, but it was pretty cool. Uh, and the order here, like I said, this isn't really an install video, just showing a quick overview of what we went through to do it. Um, definitely do not do whatever we do. Everything we do is unsafe. I say a million times, it's in the description of every single one of my videos. Uh, but you know, some people wanna see the experience and you know, I had to go through it. So whatever I felt like filming that day is what I've edited in this video to show you. But we read the instructions. <laughs> we don't watch YouTube videos and all that. I'm sure there's some good ones out there, but you can see we just have printed instructions and we just follow the instructions because they were made by professional people and we are not mechanics or anything like that have any affiliation with brp but um it's really just getting that plastic part off and then you're exposing the the holes that the bolts go through that come with the pieces and we kind of had the pieces laid out there this is the shad hard saddlebag rack is the actual words used and i put the link just like most of the stuff in each video description. But there was one thing weird about it that I did want to say is that I want to say Kevin said in the instructions, it said not, you didn't have to put this one back part on that I'll show you, uh, that that was just for if you had a max mount, but we put the whole thing on. So if that's true and that's what it says, this is basically showing you that I don't have a max mount and I put every piece that was included with this kit on there. Uh, and that says just using the torque wrench we try to use all the time to uh, get it torqued down to specs after we ratchet it down kind of tight and that's that back part i was saying and that's where we're kind of testing it out like mm -hmm, we can just throw it on there i don't know why you'd have to have a max mount to use that back piece because i would definitely want to have you know use every piece i bought for sure but have all the reinforcement of whatever 
So once you get those two parts mounted, and then you're basically uh, gonna mount them to each other. And that's that torque wrench part there too. Like I said, you wanna listen to the professionals with this stuff and read the instructions. And uh, it gives you the torque specs. And all this stuff you can just print out through the PRP website. They, they give you the instructions. And, and uh, you have to print them out yourself, but they give you the link with each one of these OEM parts. Uh, and that's just showing that the back spoiler, we're gonna knock that out here after that. I just wanted to show you what it looked like because it's basically just a cover over that plastic piece. And getting it out, you're just loosening these screws or bolts. I think they're screws. I hate saying that because it's like screws on plastic with most of this. If you have a Riker, you're familiar with some of the hardware on it. You're like, hmm, seems like we could have used something else on that. Especially when you see a lot of rust when you're taking stuff apart. But really, it's just like tabs on that plastic piece, uh, that stock plastic piece. And when you're just loosening them like that, uh, just to get, just to be able to pull it out. And that's just showing you there that that's how we're going to attach that yellow spoiler. I want to say they call it shock yellow. It's whatever the classic color is. That's the lesser expensive um, paneling through a uh, Can-Am that I have on there. Actually, I don't think I think there's only one type of yellow, so it shouldn't be confused with any other one. I think that other one isn't even really like a yellow. It's like some type of greenish yellow thing, fluorescent. Yeah. But uh, we're just checking out, see where we have to drill holes in the that stock piece. And that's what we're doing there. And that's just showing you. And that's just a pilot hole. Try to do everything and then work our way up. So just so when we use the bigger bit, it'll work in there. And then one thing that I wanted to mention on this, we actually use, I think one size lower. I'm not sure, I'm gonna put the sizes down. Uh, because it just didn't seem like it matched up. I pointed out here in a second and I'll definitely put down the sizes because there's a size it recommends and then we use another size and it ended up fitting in perfect, just like that. And I didn't want too much give and it moving around and stuff. And that's it there. So that's the one they tell you and we don't do and we use the other size. I'm sure the other size probably works fine, but you know, having like a good snug fit, that's kind of what I was going for. I don't want anything like super chinky and shifting around on there. Uh, and then that just show, it's just showing you the, the screws there. So the, you get those two little black hardware pieces that are like bushings or grommets, whatever you want to call them. And you can't really put those on wrong. They fit in that slat a certain way and you definitely can't put one side on the other side. You can see there, they got angles and curves that show that's how it goes. And then you put the screw on on top of that. And I don't think we do anything with using the torque wrench or getting it because it's not anything load bearing or whatever. And I'm pretty sure it's just a screw, which like I said, it's a drag. I like bolts, I <laughs> love screws because you like screwing into plastic and stuff. And then you're just piecing it back together. So that black piece is still part of the spoiler. Your stock, you're just putting that on it, just like you, you can see right there. And that's just getting it back into those uh, those loosened screw bolts if you want i mean you can take them completely off i guess and then do it but it just seems like more work and if it's like super tricky uh getting them in and out and you know being able to get leverage on a, a screwdriver or whatever i believe you it's a drag uh it wasn't fun to do that part and that's just, just making sure it's all leveled out and it's not shifted and if we need to un, you know loosen something and tighten it back up because like i said when it comes to screws and tabs it's just there's a lot of room for uh, stuff to be misaligned and then we're on to the hood accent and this is what i don't do a super chop edit like i normally do uh, i just let the whole thing kind of play through because because we had this talk before on the video with picky ricky in the um tmnt Riker rally video walk around uh, and it was installed wrong. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I had a lot of people come up and they're in the comments and stuff and they're like, no, that's the way you do it. That's the way you do it. This is legit BRP. This is the people who made it. This is the OEM product. The way they said it must, it, it's to be installed. Can you put those bushings on wrong inside those little tabs and all that? Yeah, you can. Uh, does it look cool man if you think it looks cool hell yeah that's cool but it's not right um and that's fine 
but uh, I wanted to post it. And, and, and here, and here's the issue, and here's why I say it, because uh, Picky Ricky, he didn't think that was fine, and he paid the dealership to install that hood accent. I just wanted to get uh, Kevin's old Riker style in there, because you know it's been painted since then. Uh, there's a video of it in the Patreon site, but that shows right there. He he wanted to show his and make sure because he has a hood accent on his that wasn't stock that um, he had to drill to do it. So I want to say this is the same case where we kind of started off small and then worked our way up to make sure we didn't make the holes too big. But at the same time, I don't think it really matters. I just don't like the idea of stuff not fitting super tight and uh, and stuff having too much give, especially when it comes to plastic and all that. But you have each one of those holes, you know where to put them because there's a peg for each one of them on the hood accents and uh, you drill the holes and then make sure it fits and that's in there it should be four holes yeah four holes going through there and that's it now it does put holes in it and uh, so you are committed to using a hood accent forever it doesn't have to be that one if you pick a yellow one but you can change it out but that's it it goes that way you you drill the holes and then you put it on and all the hardware that it comes with if you're calling those bushings grommets whatever they go on the inside of the hood. I mean, it's just designed that way. It's not supposed to float. Um, you can't put the, I mean, you can, but it's not designed to have the bushings in between the hood accent and the hood and then the then the bolts, you know, on the inside the way we saw on, uh, on Ricky's. So I wanted to show the whole thing, not trying to cut it or show whatever and confuse people. And like I said, if it's cool, that's cool, man, if you like it, but Ricky paid the dealership, and if you're familiar with motorcycles and riders and stuff like that, he dropped some paper on it for them to do it wrong, you know? Uh, so that that's not cool at all, so I wanted to get that straight. If yours is a different way, that's no big deal, but as long as you know that it's not supposed to go that way, and you paid somebody a premium rate to put it on wrong, then I hope this helps you out and get that fixed up. And we've got them. Uh, we got them fixed up since then. Actually, fixed up right now. I'm gonna meet uh, Kevin and Ricky over uh, Picky Ricky over at the Throw Mouse Moto Garage here in a little bit um, to to watch. He's gonna get. He ordered the Stealth uh, Series exhaust by RLS, our other Ricky, and he ordered some couple other things, some some light mods from from Sling Mods, uh, which is the fog lights and that little inner running light on the side of the fenders so kevin's installing those for me today and if his hood is still like that because we actually haven't seen his riker since that video um, we're definitely getting fixed up just the same way hardware goes on the inside of the hood um, yeah it's a drag you have to drill holes but i'm pretty committed to getting the uh, that hood accent i also bought in the reveal kevin being dramatic uh, I actually bought a new hood too because I plan on doing a different like theme where I do a whole hood instead of just an accent and then two panels. So and they're like 23 bucks from BRP. So if you drill holes in it, no big deal. Just get another hood. You do not get the BRP logo emblem. So keep that in mind. If that's something else you can buy like on cheap cycle parts or something, then buy that too if you want it to be complete the way that it is. So that's one cool thing about stuff being plastic on the Riker is that you can just buy another one. You know, like I said, 23 bucks, that's no thing, man. Uh, and this is, uh, like, that's not going to be a big thing. I, these are these are cheap $23 whatever mirrors from Amazon or wherever you can get them. Just type in motorcycle mirrors, they will pop up. Uh, and we just screwed them up. In the end, uh, I did swap them around a little bit so they work by hanging hanging down instead of up. And then you know I gotta put uh, <laughs> put Kevin's Barney Rubble feet on on blast there. It can't be an install video without doing that. But check out this bonus for a little bit, and I'll finish up at the end. This is the first time we met Oscar and his Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Rocker Rocker Rally, and you get to see it, you know, the light show at night. So enjoy the bonus. Ron, Ron. There it is. Dang it.
I saw you coming from like way over here. So, you can come like on the angel. That's too clean. I can change the color to men, whatever color. And then what, light up at night again? How did you move? Back there. It's the new ones, they have that, uh... Missile. Well, that's the actual... The one I'm sitting on? The motor? It goes into the... I got rid of the passenger seat. I know. Sewer lid. Look how the it's like Michelangelo's bandana with like his eye holes. had this footage for a while so I thought I'd throw it I'd, I'd hate to get rid of it it wasn't enough to, to make a video that day so I think I'll start doing that in some of the videos that are kind of slower like videos where we're installing stuff and just throw like a bonus in so you guys can check out so I mean it's it's worth seeing and uh, it was cool being able to do that daytime video which was the second time we met Oscar uh, with his TMNT record rally so having the, the the light show too because it was cool seeing it during the day because you can actually see you know the rap job and the and the dip stuff he has on it and just all all the crazy custom work that that's done so being able to see it at night uh, i don't want to lose that and i want to show you guys too but i appreciate you guys watching i got lots and lots of more stuff coming out i'm going through the old archives i want to get this one out of the way so we can do probably a couple more ride videos had a request for that just as getting out and putting some miles on these things which uh I'm, i keep doing so look forward to more stuff coming out thanks a lot guys if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe to thrill mouse moto i was paid to say this since barry said he felt kind of weird asking he also wanted me to say baja blast slams and yeah dog thrill mouse moto <laughs>